what is up guys digital vfx here once again and today um i already made a video this morning that i put out but i'm gonna release probably probably the first time i've ever done two videos in one day but this video is going to help a lot of people asking so many questions and this video is going to make everyone's lives so much easier it is going to be how to put VSTs into FL Studio. I'm not going to tell you how to get Nexus or Zeta or Massive or all those paid plugins. I've had people ask me to get them for free. They're just go out and buy them. I'm not I can't get you those for free. But anyway, so I just went and googled free VST plugins. There's a bunch of websites out there that have free plugins. So you can just go check that out. Um and get some free VSTs if you really want more. I mean, FL Studio comes with some pretty good ones, but uh, just go and download them. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find that VST I got. I already downloaded it. Uh, it's right here. It's the Hornet. So I guess you could Google that if you want. I it just looked interesting. Containing folder. Um, so here we have it. I'm gonna drag this to my desktop real quick and I'm going to click that press run uh, yeah I want to install it and where do I want to put it I will just put this um, program files VSTs yeah, I'll just put in VST plugins so I'll press OK and install and that just installed I don't want to view the readme so now I'm gonna to go to computer try to find it local disk um I put it in program files VST plugins and the Hornet should be somewhere here. Maybe. Hmm. Oh wait, no, it's gonna be one of these. Uh let's see. I have all these plugins in there, so it's kind of confusing. Um, I really don't know where that went. Did I put in manual? No. Yeah, here we go. Okay, it was a different file. So now I have these. So what I'm going to do is I found where it was. I'm going to open up FL Studio. I'm going to go to Options, File Settings find a new uh, file that I haven't used click on the folder go to exactly where I just found it my computer local disk program files uh, VST plugins <clears throat> right there and now it's in the Hornet alright so now that that's selected press OK and there it is now it's linked to FL Studio and might some of you might have gotten this far without realizing it but um to answer your question if you go to channels add one the hornet is not going to be there um, so what you're gonna have to do is go to channels add one more and then press refresh fast scan and there it is that found it now you just what you have to do is I just kind of highlight it there and if for some reason I found Philharmonic which I already had I don't know why but I'm gonna go alright so refresh and it's already in there now you go it might be in there you might have to restart FL nope there it is the Hornet you panel enter all oh. so I guess I need a serial number maybe maybe let's see if I could find that Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll actually end up using this. Mm, I don't really. Uh, lem. Some of these words are so weird. think that's it could be it I don't know probably not oh um, 
OK. Copy. Paste. I don't know if that, that's a little long for a serial. Yeah, I don't think that's working. Yeah, I don't know. So, regardless, if you buy the plugin, uh, then you will have the serial. But, uh, yeah, I don't. I'm not really sure. I thought this one was free. But apparently you have to pay for the uh the serial or you have to pay for the plugin. But let me download it. So um regardless, uh that is how you link uh VSTs. So obviously it didn't work because I could not I don't have the serial for it because I mean I probably won't even end up using it. But this just showed you how to link them and how to get them into FL Studio because I know a bunch of you are having trouble with that and I get probably at least 5 to 10 emails every day or private messages or comments asking how do you get this, how do you link it to FL Studio. I've never really gone in depth with that. So um, if you like this video, remember to uh, click the like button. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. And uh, remember to comment, rate, subscribe, uh, share my videos if you want. I've had a couple of shares and favorites. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.